Chiang Mai, Thailand for one month now. Chiang Mai is not the capital of Th Thailand though. Bangkok is, and it is also the biggest city in Thailand. Thailand is often called the land of smiles. I think the people are always friendly and smiling. They have many types of food, many beautiful landscapes, and many spiritual festivals are celebrated throughout the year. Thailand is a country located in Southeast Asia, which is on the Asian continent. You can see Thailand is a little red dot on this map. There are four countries bordering Thailand, Cambodia to the southeast, Malaysia, the Gulf of Thailand to the south, Burma to the north and west, and Laos to the east. Right now, I live in the far north of Thailand, in a pretty city called Chiang Mai. Bangkok is to the south, and so are the pretty beaches Thailand is famous for. Thailand's flag is similar to the United States flag, because it is red, white, and blue, but just with stripes, not stars. Doi Antinan is a mountain in Thailand, and this is the highest peak in the country, and the mountain is very leafy green, cooler temperature-wise, and very high. My ears even popped when I visited Doi Antinan last month. In Thailand, there are many transportations, but my favorite is a tuk tuk. You can go anywhere you want, from 40 to 60 baht, and it's like riding a motorbike, except you can feel the breeze in your hair with the roof still this over your head. It's obviously where they sit and steer, and this is where you sit. It's kind of small, but it still fits about two to three people. Sun towels are another type of And that's sun towel! <laughs> the ties drive on the opposite side of the road from American, and the steering wheel is even on the opposite side too. Also, a lot of people ride motorbikes to get around town, and I have found it easy to get from place to place here. Did you know that about 95% of Thais are Buddhist? Though there are other religions, this is the main one you encounter throughout the country. In Thai, Wat means temple, and there are so many Wats located all over Thailand, especially here in Chiang Mai. And all the Wats have different golden statues and images of Buddha. The many Wats are the home to Thailand's monk, and amongst robes are usually bright orange and they stand out and look so pretty when I see them around town. When entering a Wat in Thailand, you have to take off your shoes to show respect towards Buddha, and you have to wear clothes that are appropriate. Like, you know, tank tops. So if you're wearing a tank top, you can put on a jacket. Or you could just wear longer sleeves. And you can't wear any bottoms lower than your knees. Thai food usually have spicy, sour, sweet, and salty all in one dish. They also often eat noodles and rice as the base of their dishes, instead of bread like we do in America. There are dozens of different types of traditional Thai food, and they are different depending on where you are in the country. One of my favorite dishes is Yam Kai Dao. It is a spicy egg and tomato dish served with rice. Warning, if you ever come to Thailand, you might want to know the words my pet, which means not spicy in Thai. If you don't know this, you just might get nine chili peppers thrown into your food. True story, it has happened to me more than once. My name is Anna, and I've been living in Chiang Mai for one month. I have five more months to go, and I've learned so many things already, but I'm going to be so excited when I learn more. I learned about culture, food, um, where 
it's located in Asia. So many more things. I hope you've enjoyed this video about Thailand. See ya!